Hello, my name is Esther Park, and in this video, I will show you how to create scheduled Google Meet links that you can save and reuse every time you plan breakout room activities. In an earlier tutorial, I explained a workaround way to monitor breakout rooms in Google Meet and be virtually present in all breakout rooms. Unlike Zoom or Microsoft Teams, one of the advantages of Google Meet is that you can generate multiple Google Meet links so students can click on it to enter. And as a teacher, you can be logged into all rooms to supervise and provide help whenever necessary. If you're not familiar with this, I will put a link to my tutorial on how to monitor multiple meets in the description below. I am in meet.google.com. Here you're going to click on the green button that says new meeting and click on the third tab, which says schedule in Google Calendar. Now it's going to open a new tab in Google Calendar. I'm going to add a title. I'm going to just name this breakout room number one. Now after naming this room, you're going to assign a time frame. You can schedule this meet to be available all day by clicking the box next to the word all day. And this, this link will be available daily from today. That's today. And then let's say I'm going to make it available till sometime in March. So as you can see, this link is available all day from January 18 to March 26. If you are worried about your students using the link after school hours, you can unclick the all day box and schedule it with the specific time of your class sessions. For example, let's say your class meets from 1.30 to 2.30, so you can assign specific time frames that will make this link available for your students. Once a time range and the dates are ready, hit save. Notice once you save this reoccurring meet, it will show up in your Google Calendar. Now notice that the lines show that the meet link is available during these days from January all the way to March, which is the time frame that I assign. And you're going to repeat this process for all of your breakout rooms. Notice once you create and save these reoccurring meets, it will show up in your Google Calendar as well as your Google Meet home screen. I am in Google Calendar and as you can see on my screen in blue lines, all the Google Meet links that I just created are scheduled to be available every day from January all the way to March. The next step is to save these unique Google Meet links and hyperlink it to a document where your students can access it. So right now I am in Google Calendar and again notice that I have four reoccurring breakout rooms. Once you click on one line, you're going to see the Meet information pop up. Now you can either copy the link shown under the blue button right here, you can copy it, or you can click the icon here to copy the conference link to Clipboard. So I'm going to copy that. All right, it's copied. Now I'm going to go to my choice stores and link each URL to a transparent box. It's a transparent box. Now my room number one is already linked. You can see it linked. By the way, I share the choice store template for free on my website, mrspark.org. So check it out if you're interested. I'm going to repeat the hyperlinking process for all of the rest of the three rooms. All right, as you can see for each box, I have all these meet links hyperlinked.
just to make sure that it's working, I'm going to hit present and click each of the rooms. There is my breakout room one, room two, room three, and room three and room four. I hope this video was helpful and if you have any questions, leave me a message below or direct message me on Twitter or Instagram at Mrs. Park Shine. Thank you for watching.